Okay, welcome back to Game Chances Farms. Just out here in the morning, doing our morning chores. Have to feed the cats first, because otherwise they uh, run in front of your feet and stuff. And checking on the chicken in the chicken hospital. I get you some more food. Okay, close that one up until I can get some more food. Come over here and we'll release the chickens outside. I'm sure they're ready to go out there. down on the ground, make sure I don't have any eggs I'm going to step on. You guys ready to go out? Huh? Ready to go outside? There you go. Going outside the forge. This one up here, I think, is the one we've called Houdini. She gets out sometimes all by herself, and she kind of segregates herself from the other four of the astrolorps that we, we've gotten. I don't see any eggs yet, so... Alright, now, I got your food. Yep. Need you some fresh water too. All right, so we brought the goats back here. I'm gonna let them eat one by one, so Tony can look at their host to see if they needed need trimming. Thank you. Just a little. As you can see, she's not waiting very patiently back here for her turn. But we gotta, we're feeding them one by one. That way they'll stand a little better on the stand while they're getting their feet trimmed. Hopefully, well, at least that's the plan. Hold on, Miss Lee. There you go. You got it. Oh, nope. <laughs> All right. I'm back. Coca got stuck in the thing, and I had to get her unstuck. You're going to get stuck again. Get down. Switch sides. Easy. Hey. Hey.
She's dancing because she's almost out of food. And that's her. Her cue to us. Baby kitty. Mm. Yeah. And the kittens. Oh, she's right there. Okay. Talking to you, isn't it? Sounds like we're getting a little mulch. And then at the neighbor, yelling at his dog. Thanks, you. Hot chocolate. All right, so we got Coco in here now. Air, both of them are done being trimmed. I'm gonna show you a little bit on Coco's feet. Um, she was quite overgrown when we got her. So I go just a little bit at a time. This one here will need a little bit more coming off of it, um, but we're getting there. So um, when we first kind of got her, they were rolled in, and basically touching the hoof, both side walls of the hoof were touching each other. They were rolled in across her pad. So I've been trimming her a little bit more frequent than you normally would, but it's mostly because I'm only taking just a little bit of it off at a time. That way I don't go too far. Um, I don't want to get it down to where it hurts her. So, But uh, we can kind of take another look at this side too. You can see a little bit better on this one. Where we're still getting there, but we're not quite to where we need to be yet. Um, we're almost down to the pad on this side. That one there still needs to come down a little bit more. But I'm trying to keep the even so that it's not making her ankles. I don't know, sis. You ready to come out, aren't you? What you doing? She is definitely an in-your-pocket goat. Uh, if you guys remember from our talks when we first brought her home, uh, and I'll link that video in there, uh, the person we got her from, uh, the reason we got her is because he was afraid she was going to come up on his back deck and end up in the pool. So that's why he got rid of her. But she definitely enjoys her attention, don't you? Yeah. She's kind of my buddy uh, as far as inside the barn. She's When they're in here in the stall, anytime I come in or out that side door of the barn, she makes sure to jump up there and greet me. So, come on, sis. Let's go back. Hey, come on. Come on. Yeah, checking out them new hooves, aren't you? <laughs> come on. Come on. Get down. Get down. Go. We're done. Let's go back to your stall. Come on. No, there was hay in there. I thought you gave it to him. Huh. Nope, you've already ate. Come on. Your buddy's in here waiting for you. Yeah. Hot chocolate's in here waiting for you. Okay, right. go. Oh, <laughs> you waited too long. <laughs> Trying to escape.
finishing up the nightly chores. Uh, the goats went for their vet appointment today. Everything went fine. Uh, said they both look great. They were given their shots and they were uh, took blood to get their um, CAE test done. We've got, made contact with the farm that we'll be using to do the driveway breeding and they've helped us with the uh, cedar program that they recommend. So we'll be uh, using their cedar program and see how everything goes. So hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share on social media with all your family and friends. Uh, if you're new to our channel, uh, we've had a few new subscribers here over the last few days. Uh, if you have your own channel, don't hesitate to um, comment down below and share a link for your channel. Um, we'll see what we can do to help you grow your channel while you're helping us grow ours. So We'll see you on the next one.